Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode number three of my new Metal and Beer series. Metal and Beer. Now today I want to share with you what I'm calling my melodic metal guitar shredding. And this is just a really cool lead bass riff that I'm going to share with you. So let's bring it in closer. I'll throw up the tabs and play the riff and stick around for my beer tasting after that. it up for my melodic metal guitar shredding. Now it's somewhat of a simple riff and you're only playing on one string. So two techniques I want to point out. We're obviously speed picking to get that fast and then I'm kind of lightly palm muting. I use that technique a lot. Like I, I do the light palm muting a lot where you, you palm mute the strings but it's not like a hardcore mute. It's, like, it's not like it's just kind of lightly and I'm kind of coming a little on and off the string as well. It just gives you a little bit more flavor, especially when you're playing fast and when you're playing those leads. So again, we're, we're using the speed picking technique, the alternate picking back and forth, very fast I may say, and we're using some slight palm muting there on and off as well. So definitely go back and I always want to say rewind. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I'm stuck in the 80s. Not a bad place to be. Anyway, so definitely go back and, and practice that riff, and as always, feel free to add your own notes to it and expand on that. So let me know how that works for you. Now, you're probably wondering, hmm, what's Jason drinking today? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today, I am drinking the Milk Stout Nitro from Left Hand Brewing. Now, I've actually had this beer several times before in the past, and it is one of my favorite stouts to drink. Uh, it's got a very nice uh, roastiness to it. It's a very smooth flavor. So in saying all that, let's go ahead and have a taste. As you can see, I've had some taste already. Hmm. <laughs> now, I always like to read the back of the beer bottles or the cans or whatever the beer comes in. Uh, a lot of beer companies will put a little blurb about the beer. And uh, this here says, brewed on the banks of the mighty St. Vrain. And it's a super smooth with soft roastiness and mocha. So, pretty good. And it's at 6%. So it's not overly strong, but it's not weak either. So it's kind of in that middle range, so to speak. Now, I kind of screwed up here. I did not pour this in a stout glass. I actually don't own a stout glass, so I'm gonna need to go ahead and buy one of those soon. But anyway, it's, it's still a very good beer, very tasty. Uh, you can indeed taste that mocha, that hint of mocha and the roastiness flavor there. Uh, and it's a very smooth beer as well. It goes down really, really smooth. So anyway, that's the beer I'm drinking today. Let's go ahead and have some more. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed my third episode of Metal and Beer. Seriously, I truly hope you guys are digging these videos because I love making these videos. You know, we're playing some metal music together, learning some riffs, and we're having some brewskis. A marriage meant to last. It doesn't get much better. But really, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I hope you're getting something out of it. Um, you know, don't forget that my music, my albums, as most of you know, are out there on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Uh, CD Baby, Pandora, yada yada. So just look up my name, Jason Stallworth, on any of those platforms and you'll find me. Uh, my latest album was Heavy Metal Workout 2. I just released that August 2017. That's an instrumental, uh, melodic, death metal style album. So definitely check that out. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, as always, 
Keep it metal.